Hey guys, today I am going to outline how Andrew Yang can survive the final four. We are in that twilight zone where, yes, we cannot play friendly anymore. And unlike other Andrew Yang fans, I'm going to tell you that if you remember, Healy vs. Bernie was one of the angriest, saltiest contests of I ever ever seen in my life. It was tooth and nail. It was targeted harassment on both sides. And uh, Hillary eventually won. But Bernie is a lot smarter now because he has that experience. He's older and smarter. A tiny bit older and a tiny bit smarter. So uh, Andrew Yang needs to siphon off voters from Bernie Sanders and open up a new demographic, which is moderates. There's nothing that is more scary to a moderate than Bernie Sanders, uh, AOC, and the squad. Bernie Sanders recently said that he would put AOC as a very important cabinet position. I would not be surprised if AOC was Secretary of State or somehow they got rid of the Constitution of the United States and made her the Vice President, even though I don't think she is old enough. I don't. I, there is an age for President, so I don't know if there's an age for Vice President, but the Vice President could become President, so I assume there is. So, Fox News has created this, uh, and Fox Business, has created this very doomsday scenario for us Republicans and moderates and small business owners, where Bernie Sanders is president and AOC is in the staff, chief of staff or something, Omar is the secretary of state, and we're being, you know, <laughs> and we're in this uh, socialism environment where uh, anytime I make money, I have to give all my money away. And therefore, I'm going to very uh, similar to Atlas Shrugged, not want to make money anymore. And then we'll have to uh, fly our secret airplanes over a secret uh, forest and so on and so forth. Um, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't read that Atlas Shrugged. I didn't read that book. Um, but I did watch the really bad movie, which was really, really bad. But Fox Business, Fox News, if Andrew Yang goes after Bernie Sanders... They will king make him. They will make. There are certain things like Facebook who can determine the king. They're called king makers. Uh, if you watch anime, they're called magi. If you know where anime it's from, um, and these king makers are people who uh, can choose who our next presidents are. Like Mark Zuckerberg, I would say was a king maker for Obama and Donald Trump. Uh, Facebook being very important, uh, Twitter and social media, but you have to understand everything's connected. So AOC and Bernie Sanders, when they attack Jeff Bezos, who owns Amazon, Jeff Bezos also owns Twitch. Yes, the number one streaming platform for young adults. So he has that audience reach because Twitch can buy streamers like Nick Merckx, a huge streamer on Twitch. And everyone buys streamers like um, Mixer from Microsoft bought uh, Ninja and so on. And then Courage was bought by YouTube, owned by Google. So there is danger. If I was one of these tech companies, I'm thinking, uh-oh, Bernie Sanders is here. Danger, danger. AOC is here. Danger, danger. We need to elect someone who's not a danger to our very existence, right? Isn't like Bernie Sanders a danger to Jeff Bezos' very existence because they want to tax him 70%? But <laughs> he'll say, fine, I don't make money. Andrew Yang can tack one thing in particular. Uh, and this is my biggest criticism on AOC when she's making her $1,000 student tuition payment uh, in public because she's so poor. You know that she makes $174,000 base and she's on TV shows. I'm sure she gets fee, appearance fees and so on. $174,000 and I'm poor. Okay, maybe if I was an idiot, I would believe that. I'm so poor, I still need to make my student loan payments, even though appearance fees on Cobur and all these kind of um, other show she's been on I mean you get appearance fees that's what you get and maybe there's a book advance like Bernie Sanders had a $795,000 book advance $795,000.00 is what was paid to Bernie Sanders for a book advance and yet he's too poor for electricity 
My gosh. He can afford a $700, $800 jacket, but he's too poor to pay his staffers $15 an hour. Like, if you were the one to make that policy, wouldn't you definitely want to dot the I's and cross the T's to make sure your staffers were paid $15 an hour and not have to defend that? Well, I don't know. I guess you, you didn't figure that out. <laughs> wow, you're too busy attacking Amazon, who raised itself to 50 You know, Jeff Bezos did that just to call you out, Bernie. You know that, right? He raised the minimum wage of $15 because he knew that you weren't at 15 Checkmate. So... Andrew Yang, entrepreneur, needs help. He needs massive help. He's way behind. And I, don't, I watch these other Yang YouTubers, and I think they're unrealistic. You, we are going to get blown out soon. Like, we're not doing well. Like, this is not like, we're not doing well, <laughs> okay? We're not winning. You know, we're not winning. We're just surviving, but to move on to the next stage, it's just like Survivor. You got to vote someone off the island. And we're next to be voted off unless we can knock out one of these big four. And you might pick, oh, why don't we pick Mayor Pete? I think Mayor Pete's untouchable. I've looked at his marketing campaign. I've run analytics on it. I don't know if it's Mark Zuckerberg stepping. I, I don't know what it is. But his campaigns are very, very good extremely targeted, extremely on point, and I'm not surprised if he has a war engine behind him, meaning that he can generate more money from ads than he pays ads. And that's what I call a war engine because you go infinite. It's like the infinity gauntlets. Snap of the finger, and I generate even more money to run even more ads. There's nothing like it. I've only seen it one time in my life. I've, I've only done it one time in my life uh, for a Christian charity where we would spend, you know, let's say $10,000 in ads and in digital ads, and we would get back 20000 So then we would spend the 20000 and then we'd get back forty. And then forty, we, eventually you hit the menacing returns and you're not going, you, you actually, um, your return on investment gets lower, because, but you're making more money. As long as your ROI for something like a donation is over one, you continue to run it until you cannot until it dips below one. So, yeah. Um, Mayor Pete, I, I don't think we can touch him right now. Uh, there's too many weird things going on with his campaign. Elizabeth Warren, like I said, I think Elizabeth Warren's just going to self-implode eventually. Uh, she's made a lot of mistakes, like making fake news ads. That's a big, big mistake. Um, it's like someone, it's like catching a cheater by being a cheater. Okay, that does not make sense to anyone. The logic is not there. So Mayor P, Joe Biden, I don't think is a good target because he's just, I mean, he's Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Camille Harris attacked him and, and then his response was not, I mean, it's kind of like you're attacking someone who cannot defend themselves. And that's no fun. That, that's really not going to help you, Paul, well, because it's like you're attacking a defenseless person. And that's how I view Joe Biden. So that's why I don't think we... Um, so you got to go after one of the big four, knock them out, or at least siphon off a lot of voters and or create a new category of voters. I'm going to call them Fox News moderates. And boy, can they funnel money into you, Andrew Yang. Boy, would they be ready to funnel money if it meant getting rid of Bernie and AOC and the squad, and Omar, and all these things that, like, Fox News viewers are like, oh, it's kind of, um, just go on Fox News and watch it for, like, about an hour, and you'll see, like, that the biggest danger to, like, a Fox News viewer as being presented by Fox News is Bernie Sanders. Elizabeth Warren, a close second, but, I mean, there's no bigger danger than uh, Bernie Sanders and AOC and the squad to like small you the worst thing is when you pretend that you're poor but you're actually rich and you're pretending that you're poor so you can appeal to everyone with student loan forgiveness when you yourself make 174,000 and next four years are guaranteed unless you get impeached which doesn't happen doesn't happen uh you you're guaranteed at least 600,000 plus um closer to 700,000 i assume that you get a book deal uh, a book advance for 800 like bernie does you're at 1.4 million if your book sells well like hill dog 
uh, you're getting another 10 million. So tell me again how you cannot pay your student loans. Bernie, tell me why, why can't you pay electricity? I don't get it, Bernie. You have all this money. You can buy like a vacation home and you can't pay for electricity. Man, it would be nice to get an $800,000 book advance. Sign me up for that. Or to own a vacation home like that. Or to be guaranteed a 170. How many entry-level jobs make that? Because basically, AOC is an entry-level employee with no experience. And not a great resume. So, how can we trust that they will help the poor when they themselves are not the poor? Like, does anyone realize this? That Bernie Sanders is not poor. That no one who is a rep and that that and the reason that that should not be the case is because we we don't want to take bribes. Not that it would stop them taking bribes, but supposedly it would prevent them more. And at any time, Congress can give itself a raise just for the next term. And it has been doing that. So an entry level Congress person gets paid that much money. And yet they have to act like they're poor to attract more voters who are clueless as to how much money they make. It's like, it's exactly like what happened to me in middle school. When one of your friends becomes very popular because over the summer he becomes cool and then he does, he's no longer your friend. He hangs out with the cool kids and he's like, you know, I'm only hanging out with them and I'll bring you along with me. I'm only hanging out with them to change their culture from the inside. And then you realize, uh oh, that's not exactly what happened, was it? I'm only rich because I want to change the culture from the inside. I'm only part of the swamp because I want to change the culture from the. It's a lot of bacon to go after Andrew Yang. And if you want it, if you really want to be president, that's what it's going to take. It's not lovey dovey, rainbow and sunshine. See, uh, see what happened last, um, four years ago with Hillary and Bernie Sanders. See how how ferocious Bernie Sanders fights because that's what's in store for you. Anyway, hi guys.